today's video I'm gonna show you how to repair a motion light that blinks if this uh, if these motion lights blink on you then I'll show you what the most common problem is with them um, I got tired of replacing these they're about 50 or 60 dollars somewhere in that range and I was replacing them about every year and it come to find out it's just a bad diode inside the driver I'll show you how I did it so here's an example of what my light was doing So if your LEDs blink on and off, it's most likely going to be the LED driver causing it. The LEDs will probably never go bad. It's the power supplies that go bad. They always uh, go bad by either a bad capacitor, like you'll see these bulge up. If these are bulged up, uh, that they could be bad. Any of those capacitors like that. Uh, these diodes right here, if they're uh, open both ways, then they'll be bad. I'll show you how to test those in a minute. I'll show you how to test those in a minute. So after troubleshooting the circuit board, um, I found that there was a bad diode right here. And so since it's open, like an open circuit, I went ahead and soldered another diode on the, on the other side of the circuit board just to test with to make sure it worked before I tried to remove the diode and it worked. I grabbed my meter from work to show you a good meter, how you can read uh, diodes and capacitors. And I almost got this cheap meter I've had laying around the house. Let's show you how you can read it too. So I got it set on capacitance right now so I, I can read the capacitance of this uh, capacitor here. If I can get a good, let's see on it, good. Let's read about 24 microfarad. This is uh, 22 microfarad, it's close. And you got polarity on this capacitor. Now I'm going to switch it to diode mode. Diode mode, to read the diodes, you want to read one way, which will read open, and then switch your leads. Read it. should read about a half a volt. It's going to be probably 0.6 volts, somewhere around there, that you'll read on that meter. On this meter, um, it has a diode check on it. And you do the same thing. Do it one way. I forget a good, good reading there. Let's see. It's reading about 21 ohms one way. It's going to read ohms over there. And switch your leads and it should read open the other way. On the capacitor, there is no capacitor uh, uh, reading on this one. So you can put on ohms. You can use ohms to read it. And what you'll do is just put it on one way. And the numbers should change. You don't you won't know what the value is, but you know that the capacitor is working. The value should change. So that's how you do it with a, a good meter and a cheap meter. There's uh, several different ways you can remove the solder from the joints here. You can use a solder sucker where you just push this plunger down, hit the button, and it it pulls that thing up and makes a suction. Or you can use uh, some uh, copper uh, braided wire that will you can just lay it on there, put this on there, and it'll suck into the copper braided wire. Or you can use one of these sucker balls. Um, uh, you can use these. The ones that they use on the babies to suck the snot out of the noses, you can use them. Those work good. Or you can just use this thing here and just uh, heat up the solder. I already got some of it off and then when it heats up, just suck it off of there with that. That's what I'm going to do to uh, get this off of here. All right, so the bad diode is a 1N4007. So when you put it back in, you gotta make sure you get the, the line side on the right side. And usually on the um, circuit boards, I'll show you a little diagram of it. Up 
put that back in. Pull these back a little bit. And solder them back on. It is fixed.